Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Redmi 15C. Now let's say for instance you just got it off the box and you like to set it up. It's pretty simple. So first things first, power on the phone. Now to do that, simply press and hold the power button for about 5 seconds until you feel a slight vibration and then release the button and it will boot up to this menu. Now once in this section, all you have to do is tap on this arrow to proceed with the setup process. Now the first thing, you have to choose the language that you'd like to use on your phone. So there are a couple of languages that you can scroll through. So find the language that you'd like to use. So for me, by default, it's set to English. If you'd like to use another language, simply scroll through, find the language that you'd like to use and tap on it, and that will change the language, or rather, that will choose the language. So I'll just leave it at English, and then tap on Next. Now in this section, you have to choose your region. So depending on the phone where you bought it from, it will automatically select a region for you. However, if that's not the region that you'd like to use, you can simply scroll through all the available regions that are currently available, or you can simply tap on the search bar at the top and search the region that you'd like to use. So let's say French, you can choose the one that you prefer, or France, sorry. You can choose France or any other region that you'd like to use, sorry. Let me go back. So once you find the region, simply tap on it and then tap on next. And then of course you have to read through the terms and conditions. So you can simply scroll through and then check on this option. I have read and agreed to the user agreement and privacy policy. Tap on that. Select next. Now at this point you'll be prompted to set up using another device. Now let's say for instance if you have another Android that you'd like to set up with, you can simply tap on Android and follow the, the instructions that might appear. Or if you have an iPhone or an iPad that you'd like to set up from, you can simply tap on that option and follow the steps that appear. But for now, I'll just keep it. Or if let's say you want to start afresh on this device, you can tap, tap on skip. And then in then the next section, it will try and check for SIM cards. So in case you have inserted a SIM card, you should see the SIM card here. But for me, I have not inserted it yet. So I'll just tap on next. And then you'll be prompted to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So it will scan for all the available Wi-Fi networks that are currently available within range. And then tap on the network that you'd like to connect to. So for me, I want to connect to this network. Select it and type in the password. Then once you're done, Tap on connect and it should be connected to the Wi-Fi network. Alternatively, you can skip this step if you want to, but it's recommended you should connect to, your wi to a Wi-Fi network. Once you're done, tap on next and then give it a few seconds for you to set up your phone. Now at this point, you'll be prompted to sign in to your Google account. So if you have a Google account that you'd like to use on this particular phone, simply tap on the text field and type in your email address and type in the password and tap on next and that should connect the Google account. But for now, we'll just skip it. Then select skip. And then you'll be prompted to set up a screen lock. So you can choose to set only screen lock or you can choose to set to set a fingerprint or a face unlock. You can choose the option that you prefer, but for now I'll just keep it. And then you'll be prompted to allow or enable or disable any Google services. So be it location, allow scanning, and all the other Google services that might be available. So if you want to disable the use location, you can toggle off that switch, or if you like to enable it, you can simply enable it. You can do the same for all the other options that are currently available. And once you're done, tap on accept. And then you'll be prompted to review additional applications. So these are the applications that will be downloaded over your Wi-Fi. So simply tap on OK to proceed. And then now allow your phone to set up completely. So give it a few minutes.
Now in this page, you'll be prompted to set up some basic settings. You can enable or disable different settings from here. Be it location, you can enable and disable it. Be it automatic system updates, you can enable and disable it. And all the other options that are currently available. So scroll through and find the option that you'd like to enable or disable. So for me, I'll just disable personalized ads. So turn off. And also any other application that you don't, or rather any other option that you don't like. Once you're done, scroll to the bottom and tap on next. And then you'll be prompted to choose the font that you'd like to use on your phone. So there are two available at the moment. So there's the default font and you can see how it looks like on the preview. Or also there's this missions which is recommended so you can tap on it and see how it looks like. So choose the one that you prefer. So I'll just leave it at default, tap on next. And then you'll be prompted to set up your lock screen. So you'll set in short, you're setting up the wallpaper carousel. So if you'd like to set it up, you can tap on agree. If you'd like to skip it, you can tap on skip. So I'll just keep it for now. Then from this section, you have to choose the default launcher. So there's the classic, which shows all the applications within the home screen. Or if you want to have an app draw, you can select app draw. So choose the one that you prefer. So let me select classic, tap on next. And then from here, you should see the recommended apps. So these are the apps that are recommended that will be downloaded uh, on your phone. So if you don't like them, you can simply uncheck on all the applications that you don't like. So if you don't want all of them, you can uncheck them. Or if you want to select them all, you can simply tap on select them all. So for me, I don't need these applications, so I'll just uncheck them. And then once you're done, tap on next. And then you should choose the system navigation mode. So you can select gestures or buttons. Now you can see these buttons and gestures. Now, if you select the full screen gestures, you will see this tutorial, learn navigation gestures. You can tap on it. And then you can learn a few gestures for this particular for this particular system navigation. So you can tap on learn and then swipe up on the button quickly. You follow through the tutorial simply to learn how to use the gestures. If you are new to gestures, then tap on if you once you're done you can tap on one i'm done or if you'd like to redo it again you can select one more time so i'll just select i'm done so if you want gestures or buttons choose the one that you prefer now I'll leave it at gestures tap on next and there you go now allow your phone to successfully prepare the system for you to use it so give it a few minutes So once the setup is complete, all you have to do is tap on continue. And there you go. It will now successfully bring you to this page or the home screen for your device or on your Redmi 15C, sorry. So just give it a few seconds to finalize everything. Now once it's done, you can now successfully use your Redmi 15C. So that's basically it on how to set it up, how to set or rather how to set up the Redmi 15C. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel.